Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Jeremy from Miller Studios, and um, you guys probably don't know who I am because this is on Reno and Recon's channel. But um, I'm a commentator who posts Call of Duty videos, and I'm trying to transition to Halo because lately Call of Duty's been making me very angry, um, screaming and stuff. So I really don't like that, and it's it just it's not fun. So I've um, been trying to transition to Halo, and yeah. So if you're kind of interested in that, I'll still be putting up Call of Duty videos. It's just um, I really need to play in a party to get games anymore. Um, not because I'm not capable of getting them on my own. It's just it, it, I just get so angry when I'm playing games um, by myself, just because all the kind of the nonsense that happens. But you know, uh, it's easy to figure out. So as you uh, can see, this is a free for all on a stake, and this is a pretty good game. So <laughs> if you didn't. Uh, you didn't see my movements are very slow. It's because um, I put my sensitivity for this game on one, just because I've been playing Halo for the past couple days. So Halo runs. If you didn't know, Halo runs at 30 frames per second, and Call of Duty runs at 60 frames per second. So even though your character's movements might be the exact same sensitivity, um, Call of Duty will always seem or it looks faster when you move, even though it may or may not be. So my sensitivity is kind of messed up from Halo, but. So, <laughs> luck here, and like my shots bit off. So, uh, it's not a huge deal, but it is something that you're going to run into when you're transitioning from game to game, especially if there are different frames per second. So, see again, even here, just my aim is a little bit off. So, if you uh, think I suck, maybe you should go check out some videos on my channel, and you can actually see I have good aim, and I'm a good player. So, I'm gonna kind of get into. I, I guess I would like to talk about Black Ops or. Or even Halo Reach. So, you could send me a, a message, a private message on YouTube, um, of what game you're going to pick, or leave a comment, preferably a comment, just because too many private messages kind of gets annoying, and comments are ideal. So if you'd like to leave a comment on this video saying which game you're going to be buying and why, that'd be great. And if, uh, I think for known Recon, I would appreciate you rating the video as well. I don't want to speak for him, I'd like to speak for myself. But I know in my videos or my channel, I'd like um, I like to ask my subscribers to rate the videos. Just I want to I want to kind of hear what they have to say. So uh, I, I don't know. I like to include everyone. So uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to really say. But I personally am probably only going to be buying Reach, especially after seeing this new multiplayer trailer that has just been put out. Um, I think it was on Monday, and I'm recording this Wednesday, August twelfth. Yeah, at nine thirty. So. Um, it's been out for about two days, and I've gone over the trailer maybe 30 to 40 times, just really seeing what's what's going to be at the heart and soul of Black Ops. And frankly, it doesn't interest me. Um, I think it's going to be another game like Modern for Two, where it's very hyped and everyone's going to love it on the start date, just because they don't know the tips and stuff. Like personally, I really enjoyed Modern for Two the day it came out. I enjoyed it for about three months. And then, just as things were publicized, like One Man Army noob tubes or really commando knifing, um, I'm not going to name names or anything, but um, it's just really, really annoying to me. So I just I don't know. I don't really want to get into too much about that. And sorry about the AC-130 up. It's um, it's going to speed this up. It's just I want to keep the commentary kind of in sync with the gameplay. So if I mention anything, um, I don't seem like I'm crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I just really. I just don't think things like an RC car, or um, I was actually watching Tmart's video and he thinks it's more like a James Bond thing, that missile going, that kind of guided shoulder rocket, that does not interest me at all. I think it's just going to aggravate me even more. So, I don't really, I'm definitely not getting Black Ops, or if I do get it, it's going to be a very last minute decision. But if you, if you notice in the Black Ops trailer how fast the weapons kill, um, they seemed to me to kill a little bit slower, but I think also what I've noticed is seeing developers play their own games. They're not as good as somebody like, let's say, me or or the average gamer, just because they don't have as much time put into it. Even though that sounds kind of weird, it seems I think the only developers that are really good at their own game is Bungie developers. I actually know somebody who works in Bungie, and they are ridiculous at Halo. So <laughs> I don't know. He's he's a cool guy, but um, I don't really want to get into my friends list or anything really 
too much on this channel just because it's on my channel. But if you want to hear more about me or you want to talk to me a bit more, um, come on my come check out my channel. Uh, I think Renown Recon is going to put the link in the description. And uh, you guys can just call me Jeremy if I haven't already mentioned my name. But um, one thing I do, what I'm... Sorry, sorry I've kind of out of lost words. Um, one thing I'm going to enjoy about Reach is playing SWAT. Because in Halo, uh, I really like SWAT. It's just I'm not amazing at MLG or anything. So maybe they're bringing the DMR so people can't really spray with the BR as weird as that sounds. But I think it's going to be a really great addition to the game. I played the beta. So this game is wrapping up, and it's been good to talk to you guys. This has been Jeremy from Bellar Studios. Uh, how about you come check out my channel and uh, subscribe? All right, thanks.